You're on now. We're on now. <laughs> Just turn you on. <laughs> okay, so we're on the A46. Uh, just left, um, so I'm just looking in the mirrors, sit mode. Um, so we just left um, Kenilworth, I had to beat them for a minute. <laughs> I'm on the way to the next place, it's Western Farm, at a place called, um, uh, oh god, I forgot the name of the area. <laughs> it's just outside Stratford, isn't it? Is it Western, Western upon Avon or That's something? Right, like yeah. Stratford upon Avon, because it's near Stratford upon Avon. Yeah. And it's, uh, was it £8.50 a night? Camping and caravanning, and if you caravan and camping, it's £8. <laughs> caravan and <laughs> Caravan and motorhome. Motor home, yeah. <laughs> we only do one night though, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we've got a little issue, haven't we've we? We've got a problem, well, it's a big problem with the weather being like it is. Yeah. You want to tell them? Yeah, our, there. our fridge <laughs> has decided not to work on gas. Yeah. We've tried everything, it says it's on, but it's not. It even goes to the green. Yeah. If you know about yeah. these fridges, yeah. you see a little dial at the side, it does go into the green, but you can't hear it even lighting when you're pressing the two things in where it clicks. It's and clicking. It, it's clicking. You can't hear it going vroom, like with the gas like yeah. you normally do. But then after a few presses, it goes into the green, but you still can't hear it light. Yeah. So, and it ain't working on gas. It works on electric though, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, um, but you can't even get, there's a little button that you can turn to see oh. if the battery's gone in this little, we can't yeah. even get that off, can we? We've can't even get that off, but to be honest, I don't think the battery's gone because it's clicking away. I think there's something else. It's, I keep reading about being clogged up, yeah. sitting up or something, we and we've never had it. haven't we, but it's so small, sorry. <laughs> Take it away. No. <laughs> we have looked on took the panel off on the outside, but everything's inside something, isn't it? Yeah, you know? I'm not messing with gas. No. It's too dodgy. No now that we'll get blown up. <laughs> so we have tried to phone somewhere on the way, but nobody's answering the phones. So we're gonna get there and see what we can find to have a look at it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get there first, set set everything up and then uh which way we're going here. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm gonna come off and strand the driving. <laughs> See you in a minute. Later. His Lordship Western Farm Camping and Caravanning Club. It's fantastic. I mean, it's really peaceful. I think when you get to this end of the field, you do hear a little tiny bit of traffic in the distance there, but other than that, it's really peaceful. I mean, look at this how much space you got here. It's all lovely, cut by the uh, tractor that was going around actually as we arrived. Look at it. You can basically park anywhere you want. So uh, there's no hookups. Don't matter. We don't need that. 
So uh, if you're not bothered about that, they've got fresh water tap, they've got uh, El San. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, fantastic for us. I mean, look at it. Fantastic, isn't it, eh? Yeah, I'm impressed. And this is one of the cheapest ones we've been to as well. £8.50 a night. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'd say there is another one across the way that's right next to the uh, River Avon. And uh, that's £8 a night, funny enough. And that is uh, the camping... Uh, no, sorry, on Mot Caravan Motorhome Club. I always get muddled up. Caravan and Motorhome Club. But, but it was a bit... I don't know. As much as it sounds really nice to be next to the river, it looked to me a bit more closer together, everybody piled in. This I don't know, this is much better for me. I don't have to be right next to the river. Uh, I usually do like that sort of thing, but uh, but yeah, this, this is great. This is fantastic. This is £8.50 a night. You can't beat that, can you? So you could be here for a week and spend, what, just under 60 quid or something? That's, that's fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic. We're having a sit down. It's too hot. It is really warm today again. It's sick of the weather, to be honest. I hate the heat, I do. One thing we've got a problem with right now is the uh, the fridge. Uh, the gas is not working on the fridge, and we've ruined milk. Uh, Jan's had to cook all the meat that we had left, which was a great deal. But we had a few to last us two or three days. Just had to cook all them, and even now, that's some of that's going to be wasted. I think it's it's really really um, frustrating. And the worst part about it is, I've been trying to ring around engineers, uh, supposed places that sort you out with this sort of thing with fridges with them. Dometic, I think it is, isn't it? Dometic fridge, and nobody's answering the phone, or they don't want to know, or I don't know, just, I can't seem to find anywhere uh, around where we're travelling that is either interested or answering the phones. Uh, I don't know whether it's all the businesses are suddenly shut. I don't think everyone's shut up, have they? Uh, I mean, you know, there's been a few gone down lately because of you-know-what. But um, some of them just don't seem to be answering the phones and I can't seem to get anywhere. So, I've been going on uh, YouTube trying to find out if I can do something myself and apparently there's you can uh, undo the uh, where the spark comes when you're trying to start the thing you press this button on the fridge and, it goes and that, that spark I found where that is and apparently you can lift that down and you're supposed to be able to get in there and clear out any rubbish soot and stuff like that and that could be a problem that's stopping it from working uh, but the videos I'm watching, they don't match up with what we've got. I've got a little vent, well, it's not a little, little vent, but it's not quite wide, but it's not very deep. And I can't get down and across with a screwdriver to get a single screw out. Um, and also, when I went to touch it earlier, it was red hot. I thought, well, I'm <laughs> trying to sort it, I'm burning myself. And I have no idea how I'm gonna get a screwdriver in there. Um, and even if I could, how am I going to put it back afterwards? Uh, and to be honest, I'm a bit wary of gas stuff. I really am. I'll put my hand to anything, as you've seen. But um, but when it comes to gas, you've got to be so careful. But yeah, it's really frustrating us at the minute because it's ruining our little um, tour at the minute, the West Midlands tour we're doing. It's such a shame. Poor Jan, she's, she's really stressing about it at the minute. You know, Jan's like cooking and that, she's a brilliant cook and she don't like the food all going to waste and well I don't um, but yeah I mean so we've got no milk at the minute, well we've got emergency milk we call it, it's this uh, long life stuff and it's absolutely disgusting so um, yeah and I think that might be going off now and all, we only opened it this morning it's just such a warm day why couldn't this happen in the winter yeah why couldn't it have happened in the winter? You could have sort of milk, milk outside, outside the door and keep it cool outside, but it's boiling all the time, as you can tell. <laughs> you what, mate? You what? Yeah. You what? Oh, what's that? <laughs> Look at him. You don't miss a trick. <laughs>
it's not all good on the road you know you have things happen but it's just a frustrating thing when you know we can pay somebody to do it but we just can't find anybody to do it so it's really weird it's really weird at the minute so after this we're going to um well i'm thinking we're going to Worcester way um we're going to another uh, bridge stops i won't tell you what it is until we get there have a surprise next week but um it should be a good one hopefully and um so yeah but while we're there that's around worcester way i'm hoping that this person will get back to me from worcester i've, I've had to um text him because he wouldn't answer the phone and he said on the website i might be under a caravan or doing something else so please just send me a text i've sent him a text hours ago he didn't come back to me yet so but you know he might do yet we'll see but uh he might be that busy we'll, we'll see what happens there but uh, hopefully he'll answer hopefully he can do us but he's got to do us uh tomorrow when we go to worcester for one day we're at worcester for one day and one night and we're hoping we can nip round to where he is based and uh hopefully he can just do it then and there and we drive away with a nice cold fridge it's amazing that the fridge is the, one of the most convenient things you have when you're on the road and if you ain't got one it's it's horrible um i mean even if you're a vegetarian you still want milk and stuff like that i think you want milk <laughs> i don't know i don't know if you drink milk do you if you're vegetarian i have no idea i don't see why not but but yeah you know things like that cold drinks you know whatever cold water we have loads, loads of cold bottled water uh, fizzy water but now it ain't cold <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's ruining our little trip really, it's such a shame. Uh, I say Janet's stressed about it. Uh, Charlie's not uh, overly bothered. <laughs> he don't know any different. He still gets fed, still gets water. <laughs> but anyway, but I'm not going to try and let it ruin this experience. This place is lovely. So if you ever get a chance, it's at uh, Western Unhaven, I think it's called. Not Up on Avon. I thought it was Up on Avon, like Stratford and everything. It's Western Unhaven, near Stratford and Avon. And um, yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, right, I'm going. Back in a bit.
okay so I've cheered up a little bit more now so <laughs> just it's just been really frustrating times you know you, you organize a nice little road trip and it gets interrupted by that thing there I mean it's already door was bust ages ago just after we had it that swung open and broke the hinge and actually I'll show you so we've already had trouble right from the off and I had to make some sort of makeshift way of you know having it so it's fixed down that is actually super glued down by the way the metal there so we had to put up with that right from the off and now it's uh, messing us about with the uh, the gas so really really frustrating times with this damn thing anyway so to cheer up the mood we've moved on now to Bell's farm shop it's uh, just up from Worcester and it's a uh, bit stops uh, Jan's left at the minute, she's just gone up to the farm shop again because she's checked in with them first show the guide, free night, free stop it's gated, I think they locked the gates in my bar looks like that um, I'll show you, you can see up there there's somebody, I don't know if you can see, hold on let's zoom in because I'm using my phone that's the entrance up there and they're all coming in up and uh, yeah, there's these two long bits, there's a big Grass. This is overflow car park. This is, and there's a little bit around the other side, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you around properly later. But basically, uh, what we've done on the way here, we went to a retail park in Worcester. Um, before we got there, though, online we went online to Halfords. I don't don't really like using health frauds, um, but we had to because they had the particular thing that we wanted, and it was this. Ta -da. So we bought this. I'm hoping it's good. As you can see, 12 volt. And it's not huge, but it's enough to keep us going uh, with cold things that you normally would put in the fridge. So I ain't got it out yet. I'm going to get that out and I'll show you again in a moment when it's out uh, what it's really like. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what we've got for now. That is just going to keep us going until we find someone who's going to do our fridge it's absolutely unbelievable I emailed somebody else this morning and they haven't come back to me because they wouldn't answer the phone so I emailed them uh, I tell you, it's, it's just unreal so um, if anybody's got any ideas of who does this sort of repair work say around the Midlands area where we are uh, because we're still in, uh, yeah, yeah, we should still be in the Midlands by the time you see this video I think yeah yeah, probably Nottinghamshire. I ain't quite sure actually by the time you see this. I'm not sure where we're going to be. <laughs> it's a bit hard to say. Well, if anybody knows anything anyway, just drop in the comments below, yeah? Uh, if you do know anybody. And I'll make some notes in the future. If we're near that area, we have any other issues. Um, I trust you to give me some decent there and we'll try them. Because yeah, I can't find anybody at the minute. But anyway, stop whinging. So, well, I'm going to get to it now. I'll get this out and we'll try it out. And uh, yeah, I'm back in the mo. It is now in operation. So it's not huge, but it's big enough just as a bit of a backup lock, you know. Oh, show what we've got from I've got from the farm shop. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Right, let's, let's go inside. It's calling already in there. Actually, it's calling quite well. I'm quite quite impressed. So uh, yeah, we've got some, uh, what have we got there? That's, I've been up as well to the farm shop as well as Jan. I've just picked them up. That's the, uh, I didn't pick all these up from the farm shop. This is the things we rescued from before. Uh, let's pull out the, uh, okay, so she's just bought these. It's uh, any free for 10 pounds. So that's uh, chicken tikka kebabs. We've got piri piri chicken. <laughs> So that should be hot, shouldn't it? Ooh. And we got, was it jerk chicken wings? Yeah. And some sort of, is that barbecue sauce or some sort, is it? Yeah, it's some sort. And she got them. She got uh, a small pack of tomatoes in there somewhere. Some of this is, we, oh, we've got some milk. Because we can have some milk now, thank God. And uh, so that's all that, and I'll get back in now about messing up. Yeah. So that's all right, just as a, you know, it's all right for a backup, isn't it? Not bad at all. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, we'll have a look at We've got something else on the go at the minute. So this is the, uh, simple enough, inside here was the uh, cable with the 12 volt thing. I've got it plugged underneath there where I've got an extra socket underneath the bench where I, I fitted that myself. And um, that's plugged into that right now. And you can actually have it on hot as well, but obviously we don't want that. So we switch it to cold. You can't really hear it very well because <laughs> there is a there is a, a sound from the fan there. It's a fan just inside there, but you can't hear because a lot of traffic outside here. <laughs> so of course uh, we had to get other things as well from the shop. We've just been and bought this. Was it steak and ale pie in it? Yeah. Steak and ale pie. Uh, look what Jan's doing. She's put it inside here. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> Warming it up in the frying pan. So she's well, it's not a frying pan, is it? Yeah, this is how she's warming up instead of actually putting it in the microwave like we normally would do. So, uh, you heat up uh, a bit better, sort of thing. It's different in the microwave, isn't it? It goes all funny and... Uh... Yeah, and that'll warm it through. Take a while, it's only on low, but it can be nice not putting it in the oven, but on the top. And also, I've been up. <laughs> I've been a bit naughty. I <laughs> picked this up. And I ain't had much chocolate lately, have I? No, no, hardly any. Hardly any at all, so it's a bit of a treat. Um, but yeah, there you go, it's, uh, what's it called? Demi Chocolate Fudge Sponge. So, can I have a little piece? You can't have any of that. He's waiting for his dinner. <laughs> he's waiting for his dinner, he's going to have his dinner in a minute. Uh, what's he got? He's got a bit of mackerel left in the yeah, mackerel over there. Oh, we've got some bread as well. Got some bread from the farm shop as well. I mean, we have spent more now, probably, than what we would have done on the site, obviously, haven't we? But yeah, but there's a good lot of meat there. That will last us two or three days. Yeah. So. And the thing is, we needed the stuff. It's not like we've gone out of our way and bought... Well, OK, that was a treat. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you could say the pie was a bit of a treat, because that was... Uh, how much was that? About... I can't remember what it was now. About five or six quid or something. But... I'm not sure now, can't remember yeah, now. But it's just a bit of a treat. But it's a bit of a treat. It's so stressful the last couple of days to try to find a little engineer to come and sort the bridge. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's been a nightmare. Sorry, I'm a bit on hot. We are, we are warm today, definitely. Uh, it's very, <laughs> I say, you can tell it's very noisy at the minute with the traffic. Because <laughs> we are parked alongside this road here. Uh, it's coming from Worcester. But uh, I assume it quietens down a little bit later. <laughs> it, it might not. It's <laughs> loads of pick your own. And, um, pick your own, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. really friendly. Yeah, they seem really it's nice. A big, yeah. a quite, it's not a huge shop, but there's a no, buttery no. counter and everything. And there's everything that you need. Loads of nice fresh vegetables and stuff. It ain't as big as that malt kiln farm shop. No. At the beginning of no. our little road trip here. No. Um, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the size, is it? No. <laughs> it doesn't matter about the size. But there's loads of... These, there's just around the corner, there's loads of orchard trees. Somebody's beeping us there. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody knows us. But, uh, yeah, there isn't... Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, yeah. Around the other side, around there. You, well, you'll have to take the camera around later and show it, but there's yeah, loads of there. picnic benches. And, yeah, um, I'll, what I'll do... Even, I'll... There's even a lady's toilet down the bottom. Is there? Yeah. Oh, hold on, yeah, on the right-hand side, as you walk yeah. up there, I yeah. noticed it, yeah. yeah. What I'll do is later on, when it's all shut and everything's calmed down a bit, I'll have a little stroll round just the bit so you can see it properly. Um, but yeah, it's alright, isn't it? I mean, you know, yeah. this is a, a Brit stop. And I say we didn't we didn't have to go in there if we didn't want. We could have just parked yeah, here. Yeah, you, you don't have to, but because of the situation with the fridge... Mm, we needed <laughs> stuff anyway, so I thought, perfect, uh, get it from here. Oh, well, I had pork chops, didn't I, and burgers in the freezer, so I just cooked everything. And, you know, because there were Steve's burgers as well, weren't they? Yeah, Steve from, uh, yeah. I'll go... <laughs> so I had a bit of a meaty feast last night, didn't I? <laughs> Too much, really. But we've got to eat it, otherwise it'll get wasted, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would have been... We haven't thrown much away. Um, I've got salad that's okay, and vegetables mm. and potatoes underneath that's okay, but not really for the general. Yeah. But, yeah, so we didn't uh, waste too much stuff, did we? I mean, we had some emergency milk, as we call it. <laughs> the long yeah. life stuff. And uh, we actually got to use it, didn't we? Because and it we... weren't too bad, was it? It weren't too bad. It was from... Was it from Aldi? I think it was from Aldi, wasn't it? I can't remember. 
It weren't UHT. That was that's horrible stuff. This was different, but. It, it, once it was open, that's it. It just it was so hot. It was so hot that on. knackered up as well. So we had one cup of tea and one coffee Black out tea, of it. <laughs> God. We need some powdered milk, I don't know what that's like. Yeah, we're going to try some powdered milk, because to be honest, that would be a good idea anyway for a bit of van life with uh, powdered yeah. milk. Has anybody ever actually done that? Powdered milk in the van? Yeah, let us know. Yeah, put it in the comments, because uh, yeah. I would like to know what that's like. I've never done that. It's one thing we ought to try out, really, because it's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, so at least we've got, because we've got Melody at the weekend and we're going somewhere on hookups, aren't we? So the fridge can be working that week at the weekend. Mm. But we're not on hookups again for another week after that, so we can't find anybody yet to fix the fridge. Um, Useless, so we're going back home <laughs> to Steve's. Home. <laughs> Steve's. <laughs> it's one of the campsites we're regularly on. <laughs> we're starting to call it home. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, we're going back to Steve's and we'll see if it, we can get a mobile chap to get, come round and have a look at it. Because yeah. you've tried everything you can yourself, haven't you? Yes. I can't, we do can't do a lot. get into it at the back because it's too low down, isn't it? It's, it? What it is, it's the hatch that you take off the yeah, side. Yeah. And yeah, it's low down where we've got to take a screw out. I can't get in there. We've tried all the tr troubleshooting. It still says it's working, but it's not. So we switched it off. And then I say at the weekend, we can, go on, we can manage till the weekend now. We've got that cool box. And then we can go on hookups while we've got Melody. Yeah, we'll get somebody. Yeah. We have to get somebody out, mobile mechanic yeah, thing. Yeah, because but... we've tried loads of people. They either don't answer the phone, you send them messages, they don't answer. They don't do answer your messages. I'm still waiting on that email. Yeah. Yeah. That was, was it, when did I send that email? First thing this morning. First thing this morning, about half eight this morning, yeah. nine o'clock, something like that. I heard nothing. Uh, I messaged somebody yesterday, didn't yeah. I, through and text. Still haven't come back. Not even come back to me. So, if you're around Stratford and Avon way, don't even bother ringing any of them. They're useless, the whole lot of them. Apart from one that was all right, but the distance. They didn't couldn't have get us in. Could they couldn't they get us in. August. I can't think where that was now. T TMD, yeah. TMD or something in yeah. Redditch. They seem might like, they might be all right for people. I'm going to um, give if we've not heard back from that guy later on today. I'm going to give Steve a ring in the morning and see if he knows anybody and book it for when we get down there. We got to do some. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think it'd be this hard to sort out. I mean, like I say, because we we want to go out and about while well, we can. Gas for the fridge, don't they? Yeah, and these fridges they're not even cheap, are they? Mm. I mean, the specialist fridges are about a thousand pounds or more for yeah. these. And I'm not, we're not buying another one, <laughs> no way. No, it's probably it might be the pilot one that wants change, you might all want cleaning out at the back. We're, well, I've seen videos on YouTube, you yeah. know, the people had them just cleaned out and they're working again, and sometimes they call like a jet or something these replacing, whatever. Don't mind paying for the repairs, we've just got to get somebody to do it, yeah. So, but it looks like we're going to have to pay for somebody to come out to us, yeah, though. That's yeah. the only thing you pay That's for okay. call-out charges. Once it's done, it's done, isn't it? Yeah. And we've got a call box then that we didn't have that, you know... That's coming handy. Uh, that will come in handy. It's not yeah. a heavy one, so... Yeah. And I've measured it, by the way. It takes three amps of power while it's doing it. On the 12 volt? On the 12 volt. Yeah. I had a look on the um, Victron Connect yeah. app on the phone because I can keep an eye on the power, what's being used, what's coming in. And uh, yeah, as soon as I turned it on, it took about three amps, roughly, just about three amps. Yeah. Enough. So that's pretty damn good. And from what we've been reading, somebody else have had it for their boat actually. They say they use it all day long, and then when it starts to get dark, they just turn it off, and it stays cool all through the night. Yeah. So that's good. So in the yeah. daytime, we get enough energy to cover that three amps. Yeah. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's helped us out of the hole at the moment. Yeah, 50 quid yeah. as well. 50 quid from... Um, and it's a, it's good, it's a good strong how, one. How frauds. <laughs> I, I am so hot. <laughs> I'm hot <up> stuff. <laughs> She's hot <up> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tosh, you're going to see some of the pie. Yeah. And I think, I think we'll finish there. Oh, well, no one, because I've got to go around there only later. Yeah, yeah, so, just to okay. show them what it's like. Stick it's, with us. It's a bit noisy on the road at the moment, but I think, you know, we can go around the other side if we wanted to. Yeah, she did say go around that side. Yeah, and to yeah. be honest, the sun's more around that side for yeah. the solar, but we're 100%, or just under now, and that's going to last us anyway. Yeah. Easy, easy. We don't use much energy now, so... Because we're thinking if it, if it does rain, we'll head back to the car park quick. <laughs> yeah, the way the gravel is, <laughs> rather than the grass, because we are on grass, but... 
it's, it's, it's solid. It's, it's rock solid. solid. It's rock but solid. But say, if it does start to rain every, once it's shut, we can always move up to the car park, can't we? <laughs> We're not going to get stuck again. Never again. Don't say that. <laughs> I said that last time, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, so we're back in a mo. Oh, my uh, gas steaming up. I'm so warm. Oh, God. Now, I'll come back on in a mo, uh, and it'll be later on in the day for us, and a second for you. So, I'll show you around. <laughs> See you later, guys. See you later. This is take two, by the way, because Charlie decided to have a poo as soon as I start videoing. He did that earlier. So, anyway, you might be able to tell that at this Bell's farm shop, where we parked up, we have moved. We're still there, but the owner came out and uh, advised us to move up to this uh, little bit of a field behind his orchard, which was really nice of him, because he says it's a lot quieter up there. There's a little space. It's on grass, so and it's been raining, of course, since, but we should be right. Uh, there's, you probably can tell, I'm not sure you can tell or not, but there's uh, behind me there, there's a couple more motorhomes because uh, they turned up. Because I actually thought the owner was, uh, he came out of one of them motorhomes, <laughs> he was actually the owner of the whole place. <laughs> nice old guy, lovely old guy, and uh, what a what a gent, and uh, ever such a nice chap. I was, t I was telling him all about what we're doing and stuff, and he was very, very uh, pleased, and um, he was pleased that we were here. And please, we're going to show off, uh, you know, what he's got here. And uh, I said I would, because we like to promote places that's uh, worthy of promotion, and this place certainly is. I say the, we went to the um, actual farm shop when we got here. Jan went in first, spent a little bit. <laughs> then I went in and spent over twelve quid. <laughs> it's easy done, you know, especially when you got some nice stuff, and they certainly have. Um, we bought a lovely um, pie where well, you seen it, didn't you? That was lovely, that were stuffed as like I don't know what. Weren't it? it weren't that big, but it was really filling. And uh, I just had some more cake actually, it's a bit naughty because I've been really, really good for the last few weeks. Uh, by the way, this is um, this is pears, pears here. Look, these are pear trees. He's got pears. We're going to be down to the apple trees in a minute. He's got all sorts going on, uh, raspberries and He's probably got strawberries and he, he grows pumpkins here as well. He was telling me all about how he sold about 2,000 odd pumpkins last year, which is just an amazing amount, amazing amount of pumpkins. And uh, he's got such a fantastic place here. I'm, I'm really impressed. It's ever so neat. It's really tidy, really neat and tidy. Everything's all in really neat order here. I mean, look at it. It's awesome. All the crops look. I said to him, I says, don't worry, I won't eat any of your uh, apples off the trees. <laughs> he says, it won't be no good to you anyway, they're too early. He's <laughs> messing him about, you know. But uh, anyway, so it's a bit later on now. I think it's shut now, so I'm going to walk down and show you the outside of the building anyway, of uh, what it looks like around here. And uh, I'll get around this puddle. You know these puddles earlier, it's because it chucked it down earlier after we went up on the field, of course. But well, it's a lovely place, lovely. Look at it all. It's really, really nice. And uh, just where we're parked on the field back there, you can see ever such neat rows of raspberries and all sorts, you know. Uh, Charlie's pulling me along as per usual. So this is the, well we parked around there earlier, around the side there and the traffic going by here was quite noisy and he told me that, uh, to be honest, it goes on to about 11 o'clock at night so uh, he then told us we can go up there, even though it says road closed, you can go up there to a little bit of field and uh, park up there, it's nice and quiet. Certainly it's a bit noisy down here. <laughs> Yeah, this is the this is the first. There's all sorts going on. There's a pick your own as well. There's a pick your own section over there. Looks like there's a little kiddies play area there as well. So there's the gates over there. Look, so now they're locked now. So you feel safe now being there. So that's nice. So 
so as you can see there's quite a few things to do uh, dogs are allowed on the picnic area but not on the field this is on this uh, sign there you are Charles you see that hey <laughs> you've allowed but not on the fields so you have iced coffee cold drinks milkshakes oh milkshakes Good milkshakes This is the farm shop. So we've got an air look. Veg box here. Show you that. What are you doing? Come here. What's the game in the way? No dogs in there. Don't go in there. Oh, okay. No dogs. See you go look. Farm shop, bells, pick your own. And it's a really lovely place. Really nice. You're not going around there, you're not allowed. So there's the uh, toilets look. Ladies and gents toilets. Oh, I think they're open now. Oh, I think they are open actually. Yeah, I think they are. The ladies doors open slightly, so yeah, it's nice. So they've actually got ladies toilets, gents toilets. And I think, I think you can actually get water here if you want some water. I think there must be a tap somewhere. I think it showed you on the uh, bridge stops that there's a, there's a water here as well but we don't need it we've actually filled up at that site we was at so yeah, you can see there's a sign over there you can't see it, it says pears, onions, parsnips all those sorts they, they do so much but yeah well well worth a visit absolutely lovely and the chap that runs it such a nice guy really is um, I can def definitely say we're coming back here again in the future as well definitely when we're out this way again we're definitely coming here again. It's really nice. And I'll tell you what, the cake's nice. <laughs> cake's really nice. <laughs> Everything we've had so far. I bought some um, corned beef as well. I think it was about four slices for £2.70. And that's really quite expensive. <laughs> As in, to what I'm used to paying anyway, you know. Well, trouble is, you pay less and you get rubbish half the time, so. But, uh, I'm assuming it's really top quality. It looks good stuff. So, uh, <laughs> but hey, I'm not saying nothing because I mean I paid a bit for the pie and for the uh, cake, and yet they're absolutely so worth the money. So uh, yeah, it's quality. You just get what you pay for. It's quality stuff. If you want cheap rubbish, you have to go to supermarkets, don't you? So he's decided to have another poo. <laughs> And because he's having a, another poo, I won't, I won't show you. <laughs> I'm going to sign off just there. Um, it's been a funny old day. Well, a few days, actually. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's a bit of an odd one. And I can hear a kid somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to sign off now. Uh, catch us next week, uh, where we'll be at a uh, craft centre. And Jan's excited about that for some reason. It's her sort of thing, that is, so... But yeah, right, I'm going to pick up his mess and get back to the van. See what Jan's up to. See if she's ate all that cake yet. <laughs> okay, been a funny old one this is. But uh, yeah, we'll get it sorted. I'm on. Oh, by the way, I'm in contact with a bloke who can do the fridge. Um, so I'm hoping he can get it sorted. So uh, yeah, that's not round here though. So it's going to have to wait. I think August the 10th he's on about. So. Bay. I'm, yeah, that'll do me as long as we can get it sorted. At least we got everything for now. So, uh, all right, I'm going to sign off anyway. So, I keep saying that. I'm going to get T-shirts. What do you reckon? T-shirts? A picture of my face going. Going to sign off. That's all I ever say, isn't it? <laughs> right, yo. I'm going. Ta-da.